what's up guys welcome back and in this video i'll be showing you how we can allow the user to pick an image and to save that image in our app so let's start picking in let's go project single app call this uh saving images create on my desktop so now saving images has been created head over to the main storyboard and we're going to have only two elements right here ui image view Like Xcode doesn't like me today. There we go. Just like that. And then a UI but button. And nothing too fancy with this button. Just going to say import image. Keep it right there. Increase the width of it. And I'll just leave it like that. The UI doesn't look very impressive, but um, we'll stay with that for now. So now there are basically two steps. You basically um, you basically show an image with a controller and remember what image they've picked. So yeah, <laughs> so that's very very simple. Um, just show you how that's done. View just like that, and then uh, import image just like that, full screen. So the first step is you have to create a UI image picker controller. So let's say let image picker is equal to UI image picker controller. And we have anything to take here. So then we'll say image. So now the image picker controller, it can if we come and click into here, jump to definition. Um, so first we will search for source. So now you have the source type, which is a UI image picker controller dot source type. Default value is UI image picker controller source type photo library. Um, that's what we're going to be using in this case. So we don't have to specify the source type. But if you do want to probably use um, a camera or something, you can say image uh, picker dot source type is equal to dot camera. That will access the camera, but um, right now we will get an error if we um, run this. So let's not get the error. Instead, we're going to be working with just the photo library. So I'm just going to say privacy. Um, just find the right one. Uh, M photo library usage description. Perfect. And here we're just going to say we need it. Uh, you could, of course. You need to make a production productive app. You have to say something else, but uh, we're not going to work with that. And we're going to last of all present this present image picker and made it true. And run this, and now we should see um, a model pop up in where we can see an image picker. Basically, our photo library in this case. So it is taking a while. Um, so there are a few delicate methods for this, uh, but we're not going to get that get into that yet. So you could there are a lot of stuff, but if you just want to, you know, check whether the camera is available, show you that in a bit. Import image. Did it crash or something? Yeah, okay, there we go. So there we have this model pop up and get this animation extremely just like that. So that's that's about that. Oh, I have six percent battery. Be right back.
Okay. So you can import image. There is a photo library. You get this nice animation. Wow. <laughs> and we can dismiss it like that. But um, but as you saw, when we pick an image, it just goes off. Nothing happens. So for that we have to implement the delegate method. So we'll say image picker dot delegate is equal to self self. Now we will get an error because we're not uh, conforming to image picker controller delegate. So it wants the UI image picker controller and navigation controller delegate. So let's implement them one by one. Extension controller and the UI navigation controller delegate. So now we need to use two functions here. So we need to use a did uh, finish picking media with info. This one for now it's going to print out um, finished, and here we're going to print out. Uh, we also need another one. It's called did can image control did cancel. For this, we're not going to do much code, so we'll just finish this function off right now. Picker dot business. So now if I run this, I should see finished printout whenever I click on an image. And it's not going to get dismissed. Just get so. So like one, click on an image. There's a finished. So each time I tap on one, I get another finished. But I want to dismiss this. Uh, but if I tap on cancel, you can see it goes off. So we're going to do the same thing here. Picker dot dismiss animated true completion. So we're not going to print out finished, instead we're going to get the image. So as you can see there's a UI image controller.info key. So using this info dictionary which is right here, which contains a key and give, returns an any, uh, we're going to try to get that image. So we're going to say guard left, guard left image is equal to info, we're going to access the original image. So um, if you're using Xcode 3 or no, Xcode 9, Swift 4 or below, you'll have to type in UI image picker controller original image, I believe. Uh, but now that we're in Xcode 11, you can just say that original image. I'm going to convert this as a UI image else return. No, nothing much, just return out. <laughs> I'm going to say image image uh, view dot image is equal to image. Now if we run this, we will see that the image which we pick will be in our um, image view. So select this one and there's the image in our image view. But now if I stop this and run this again, it's gone. So now we're going to be creating a function which we can use in order to save it. So let's say func save. Um, it's going to take an image. This is a UI image. And it's going to save that image. Um, it's actually no. So we're going to say let image data is equal to image. If you were using Xcode 9, or um, I'm not sure but you sometimes you might have to type in UI image PNG representation but now that we are in Xcode 11 Swift 5 we can say dot PNG data and wrap that for now and safely with a bang operator I'm going to convert this as NS data the reason we're not leaving it as data is because we get a number of bytes and that's kind of useless so I'm just going to print out the image data which we get out and I'm going to call the save image image uh, that's going to be our image so now hopefully we will see a number of nonsense characters right down here 
import image choose that one and there we go long length of character so there we have 18 75 25 83 characters so that's a lot but anyways instead of printing this out what we're going to be doing is we're going to be saving this so user false standard standard set set a value image data for key data you know you could say anything you know what actually to keep stuff nice I'm going to say extension string static let um, key for image is equal to data and now instead of saying data here we can see dot key for image just like that so now what our image should be saved and just to make sure that it was successful we'll just put saved import image moments just use that one and there is our saved beautiful which means we have saved it now we have to somehow retrieve this data so we'll create a function for that func retrieve uh, data it's going to take a key which is going to be a string of course and we're going to say god let image is equal to image data or we'll just say data for that data is equal to user is equal to user false standard standard dot value for key key else we're going to turn out of this oops, turn out of this function then we're going to say um, let image image is equal to ui image from data and it's going to be our data and the reason why we didn't save this as data and saved as ns data um, is because we needed it uh, uh, data will store it as you know the number of bytes so we we made it as ns data you saw it came as characters so, so you cannot come out of type yeah so we have to say as ns data and here we will just say as data and now there's an image and we're going to say image view dot dot image is equal to the image which you've just got Hopefully that makes sense and now we'll just call our key data and the key is going to be dot dot key for image. So that's why it's very useful to create constants like this. So now hopefully we will see our image which we just saved and there we go. The image which we saved is right here. So import image or save that was just the one we just chose. Uh, let's take another one now actually a quick step if you want to kind of make this editable you can just say image picker dot allows editing is equal to true um, so that's going to pop up a small screen where you can edit the image and we just um, create it so say import image and that's the image it's stored anyway select that one and we get this kind of a um, view controller so let's zoom in there very uh, not fancy stuff just normal things choose uh, but we're still getting the original image and it's because we have to access the edited UI image picker controller info key dot 
what do we get here? Completions, edited image. Ooh. I don't that for now. <laughs> okay, cool. Um, let's import an image. Um, select that one. Zoom in. Choose that. Yeah. So basically, that's how you can present uh, the user an image picker where we in which they can choose. But I'm going to show you one last thing, and that's where you have to use the camera. So you can use image picker dot source type is equal to dot camera, and then you have to add the privacy, oops, privacy camera usage description, and we'll again say need it. Run that. And we will get an error and that's because we don't have a camera so if I say input image oh there's a crash and if you look at what we get here it's because we don't have a camera source type one not available so all you're going to do is to just check it's going to say if UI image because controller dot is source type available dot camera and then just do the checking. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.